sex, 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 sex. All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Wednesday, Wanderlust Wednesday here in the cave. I love Wanderlust Wednesday. Then again, I love most days here in the cave. How about you? I know some of you do. What are we talking about today? Well, we're going back. We are talking about one of my all-time favorite bands. My Life with the Thrill Kill Cult. We did a long episode on them on season one where, I, like I said, I just jumbled like all this stuff all into one episode because we didn't know if we were going to be renewed. We didn't know if COVID was going to get us. We didn't know Jack. We just didn't know. It's time for me to back up the bus a little bit to try to single out some of these records. And this one's a big one. Uh, because I just got something in the mail a few weeks ago that's just got me super excited about this band, so let's get to it. My Life with the Thrill Kill Cult. Uh, 30th anniversary of their album, Sexplosion. Technically 31st, COVID, you know, put everything off. But they re-released this record on vinyl in a super deluxe state. And uh, I picked that up, and it's just, it's pretty awesome. So let's talk about them for a minute. Uh, My Life with the Thrill Coco. Cult. Wax Tracks Records, we've been over Wax Tracks. I, I talked about them a lot recently. Industrial music, key, Chicago. Uh, just like right at the beginning of all this stuff. KMFDM, Ministry, I mean all these bands. Front 242. Uh, and I've got, I mean, I've got a box set over here, uh, the black box, which has like their first 13 years in, uh, CD and there's even, it's packed in cassette tape that's all pulled out that if you actually were to string it together, they say there'd be more music on there. Anyway, uh, this band put out so much good music and it was all this industrial music, but a little bit of funk just a little i mean a little bit more than ministry as far as like catching a beat but also this goth horror b movie stuff and i was all into it but this was the very beginning of where i found out about them and here's the record that came by the way in the mail so good uh but this when i first heard this uh, i was working at music outlet and uh Sudafranco put this on for me and was and we just played it all the time and I was like what am I listening to this is amazing it's not disco it's not funk it's not industrial it's all of it wait it's more than that there's like quotes in here and samples from weird movies and stuff I was like this speaks to me totally speaks to me uh, and I could not get enough and then I went back into their catalog and we won't we won't get back into their catalog but i'm just telling you i was obsessed and that music was a lot different than this album and i w just went to see i went to huskies at yukon and pulled into an industrial night blaring some of their old stuff and then when someone yelled out christian zombie vampires i was like i found my people i found my, I found my people anyway uh sexplosion this right here original sticker right here that's a good one uh what basically this was their this is coming out on wax tracks they they had gone over to uh interscope after this they're back uh at home with this re-release uh they had this this record come out and it was a unexpected hit due to sex on wheels uh 250,000 copies of this record sold uh and it was a big deal this is you know by 1991 uh but uh this is remastered. There's bonus tracks on here. All kinds of good stuff. Groovy Man, Buzz McCoy, the Bomb Gang Girls, their backup singers. How do you even explain this? New York Times summed it up best. Sex, blasphemy, big beats, and go-go dancing. It's like they put that record over it. They put Russ Myers and James Bond and disco and funk all together on a record. I saw them play with Lords of Acid on the Sextasy Tour. What was that? The Sextasy, Sextasy Tour? Yes. Anyway, uh, we saw them, and that was that was awesome. And I had tickets to see them right before COVID, and I just, man, I 
just need to see them again. Uh, but like I said, this is disco, funk, electronica, horror, and burlesque B-movies. How do you explain this? You just have to listen to this whole record. If Stefan from Saturday Night Live were going to do this, they'd be like, this record has everything. It's got disco, industrial, funk, horns, jazz piano, B-movie samples, James Bond, sex, bondage, martinis, glam, you name it. <laughs> uh, but th that's all I can say is you have to just listen to this and experience it. You can hear a little bit of ministry kind of stuff in here, but then it's totally not that. You get these B-movie samples in there, and you're like, what's going on here? But certainly, this was a turn for them because it was a little bit more funky. And of course, the theme, Sexplosion, is plenty in there. The burlesque part is right there. Let's get to the songs. The International Sin Set, love it. Leather Sex, there you go, there it is. A martini built for two. I, I, I can't even pick a favorite song on this thing. Dream Baby. Dream Baby's up there for me. Mood number six. Ah, oh, what do you expect from life? Just have to listen to it, people. Uh, Sexplosion. Great song. There you go, right there. Princess of the Queens. Sex on Wheels, which was their biggest hit. Probably not necessarily even near the top of my favorite songs on this record, however. A Continental Touch. That one I like a lot. That's got... It's just that smooth feeling to it. Uh, Mystery Babylon, nice exchange there. Uh, what's your name? Secret. You gotta check that out. Uh, plenty of remixes, and then the new song, Any Way You Wanna, the unreleased track where they couldn't find a home for it, but now they're like, you know what, this isn't that bad. They did some stuff to it, and it's pretty darn good. Here's the record right here that came. You guys gotta see this record. Here you go, that's what came to me, but check this out. Check out this vinyl right here. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. This is great stuff right here. Uh, My Life with the Thrill Kill Cult. Who's going to take, take the My Life with the Thrill Kill Cult challenge and listen to this record front to back? And not just once, a few times. I'm just saying, I need you to do it. I need someone to take the challenge. Raise your hand and be like, I'm doing it. I'm listening to this weird stuff Mark Pierce listens to. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But he says, listen to it. We need to listen to it. So you're going to do it. You're going to listen to Thrill Kill Cult, Sexplosion, today. Just, just do it. All right? That's your Wanderlust Wednesday episode for today. Oh, Buzz McCoy, Groovy Man, if you're around, hit me up. Come on my show. would love to interview you. Let's do it. Got a lot to talk about. Whatever you're doing today, I hope it involves music. And as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>